Drove down from uh, about four and a half hours northwest of here. I got two dogs in the van. The roof leaks. A part of the van fell off on the way here. I hit a semi truck tire. Uh, we're, we're doing good. Stoked to be here. There's a massive thunderstorm sweeping across the Midwest right now. The only way I can vent the van is with you know the leaking roof and the vent on top. And so my bed's gonna be soaked. The dogs could be barking the whole time. I'm not worried about it all. They're great. They're great. They're gonna be fine. They're gonna have a lot of things to tell their friends when they get back to the Colorado dog park. Nick, how we doing, bud? We good? Yeah. Yeah. This is Nick Joseph, everybody. I feel so much better now having told you guys that. Like, I'm very relaxed. I'm chilled out now, which is great. Uh, yeah. Wow. It's good to be back here in Lake Orion at 20 yeah. Well, let's have some fun.
merchandise that doesn't sell. So like your extra, extra small shirts, sometimes kids apparel, the giant hoodies that no one fits into. They're more like moo's than they are hoodies. Um, so anyway, there was a while ago, I was on the road and it was pretty cold in the back of the van. And I was like, I, I'm lonely, I'm cold. So I took all of the old merchandise that didn't sell and I made it into this like haphazard body pillow and just like snuggled up with it. And it worked, it was awesome. So in my mind, I was like, well, we gotta put this into a song. This is pretty, I don't know, this is funny. This is comical. This is a comedy of errors. And so uh, with that in mind and a couple other things, this next tune is called Wildfire. <laughs> Come around. I hope we go. 
Just an aside before I intro this next tune and, and a little sales pitch, but um, I thoroughly enjoy intimate musical settings like this one because I get to make awkward eye contact with everybody. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be awkward, so like if you don't like eye contact, it's gonna happen, I'm gonna make it, it's just the, the retired teacher in me, so either just like give it back, look away, or make a face, uh, that's fine too. Uh, bonus points if you make me forget the words to these songs, that's, that's <laughs> 
Yeah, so I'm a, I'm a retired teacher, and that's kind of a joke, kind of not a joke. I graduated from Northern Michigan University. Uh, I went on to teach in St. Lucia in the Caribbean, and straight from there went up to Alaska. Um, yeah, there's a lot. So, uh, you yeah, went from, in one calendar year, from uh, 90 degrees above Fahrenheit to 75 below. Ooh. You gotta check it out, it's great, it's a trip. Um, thoroughly enjoyed it, I taught full time for four years, and in the summer months I'd go on tour, the tours kept getting better, and I kept hearing people ask, do you do this full time, to the point where finally I was just like, well maybe I should, maybe I should try, and if everything fails, um, then I'll go back to teaching, still got my license, it's all that good, and uh, good stuff, and uh, so shout out to any educators, if there happen to be any educators in the room, that's what I thought, cue number three over there everybody. And uh, um, so anyway, that, uh, that was June 1st, 2015. I hit the road and have been on the road since then. So we're coming up eight years. <laughs> Mom and Dad were so proud. Uh, they're doing okay now, I just talked to them. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it's great. It's great, it's a lot of fun. And I mentioned the van earlier. Maybe the van, this is just the night to give shout outs to the van because it's still running. Um, but uh, the van rolled over 300,000 miles while driving across Texas, and uh, I was like, man, 300 miles? 300,000 miles and counting. And then kind of filled in the blanks on this wannabe tour bus. And so the opening lines to this next tune are just that. And uh, the opening lines to this sales pitch are, uh, we have a new album available for sale in the cafe. So after the show, uh, after the show, feel free to go on and check that out. And if I may, the softest t-shirts on the planet. Like, you don't have to buy one, but you have to feel one. You feel must. Family. It's just like, just go over there and give them one of these. And then if you happen to buy one and walk mm -hmm. away with it, you know, you're not going to be disappointed. But if you're like, you know, I got a million t-shirts, but I just felt the softest one. We know that guy. Um, then you can, you just do that. Just give it a little, just, just one of these. There's, it's the thread count. It's really incredible. What they can do these days. I don't know. So anyway, yeah, the opening lines of this next tune, 300,000 counting on this wannabe tour bus, the song is called Hotter Than The Sun. Hope you dig it, it's a brand new song.
spark in my now Or burn it all to the ground Yeah, hey, oh, maybe there's a way I'll go to the early grave If I got time yet to change Time to save what's left to save Beauty with mischief. 
We have a live TV crew. Are we broadcasting into people's homes? Should we say hi? Not yet. Thanks for tuning in to Channel 9 here at Lake Oregon. <laughs> and she goes, not yet, not yet. YouTube. Utah? YouTube. YouTube. Oh, got it, got it. Oh. Hey, YouTube. Sweet. <laughs> Hope you dig this next one. Yeah. 
Thank you very much. as a full-time musician, and uh, straight from Alaska, I was like, well, I want to go where it's sunny, where it's nice in the middle of February. Fort Myers Beach sounds great. So I went to Florida, hanging out, enjoying happy hour in Fort Myers Beach, Florida in February, and I uh, was playing a show later that night, and then I had like three shows in a row, it was this wild residency, and um, it just kept bouncing around the entire city of Florida. I digress. Hanging out in happy hour, on the beach, chilling, soaking up the sun, enjoying the vibes, and this guy approaches... It's like 70 degrees, the sun is out, and he's wearing black pants, a black t-shirt, a black leather jacket, dark black sunglasses. He kind of looked like the weakest of the three little pigs, but in human form. That's the best way that I can describe it, okay? And I wish I had a backdrop so I could just show you a picture, but truth be told, I never got this guy's name. But he comes up to me and he goes, hey, what are you doing here? I was like, Enjoying happy hour. What uh, what are you doing here? And he was like, No, 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 no. You have 35 years too young to be in Fort Myers Beach, Florida at this time of year. What are you doing here? And I was like, Oh, well, I'm, uh, I'm a full time musician. I've got some shows in the area. And he goes, Well, hot damn. It's finally nice to meet someone who's living like they're alive. I used to race cars professionally, been all around the world on somebody else's dime. I went upside down, my hair on fire, never had a bad day in my life. And this guy just went on and on and on. And the whole conversation was like that. I couldn't get a word in edgewise, but it was fine because everything this guy said was the perfect line to a song. <laughs> He's speaking in poetry. Remember this. Write it all down. So I kid you not, this stranger whose name I never got wrote about 90% of this next song, and I just filled in the blanks and made a rhyme where it needed to. This song is called Cut from the Same Claw. <laughs>
swimming club, kid, if you would die. It's fine when you ask me someone who's living like they're alive. Now remember you gotta pay your dues before you get people paying you. And until then all you really can do, just sing a little bit of this too. selfish and I want all of the attention. <laughs> you know, we're trying something new. We've been doing this for a while and we're just trying something new and we'll play a song here for you um, that might be best served when it's solo. This one's called About Time. And it's about living with somebody who you love, who you know is just wildly crazy with their work all the time and sometimes the last thing that they want to be asked at the end of the day is, what do you want for dinner? And they have, they have to answer yet another question. When somebody's been asking them questions and multiple people asking them questions all day long, the last thing you want to do is answer what's for dinner. So that's how this one started. And uh, it's me not asking, but just being like body language. Is this, uh, is this a pizza night? Is this uh, a cook something extravagant night? I like to cook. Is this, uh, I say nothing and walk the dogs for three and a half hours and come back when it's safe kind of night? <laughs> All of which happen, lovely, on a regular basis. Here we go.
last year's torn my heart in two And honey, I'm hopeless They settle down and grow some roots Settle down and share what's true Who knows what will make of it I know I don't show it in my smile I know I don't share every mile But I'm feeling much older than 29 there's only so much that I can do Only so much to put you through And I can't believe I still call you mine Well, it's about time Yeah, it's about time to get out of here It's about time Yeah, it's about time we get out of here Switching gears here to this tiny little guitar. Uh, I joke with my friend because like I've played acoustic guitar my entire life, and within like the last year and a half, started to mess around with electric guitars. So I was like, "This is so small. You travel with this? I should have done this from the beginning. This is way easier." Go through the airport. Somebody's like, "Is that a cello? Oh, just an acoustic guitar." <laughs> It's on the album that's for sale out there. It's the 2023 EP. You can't miss it. You can't miss it. It's next to a live album. The live album's great, too. But this is, uh, this song is called Worried Mind, and it's on that, uh, that brand new EP. Hope you dig it. You guys are an incredible audience, by the way. I just want to, like, pump you up. Thank you. <laughs> Toot around quite a bit. Uh, all 50 states. Yes. And uh, a couple of different countries as well. And um, it just, I just, I don't think... I don't think quality audiences and great venues get enough credit, so I'm trying to do that and give you guys all the credit you deserve for being a team of audience and how good this place is. Hey! 
Can't be on nobody else. Tell me, do you see me in your life, or as a book collecting dust on your shelf? Mm -hmm. Here we go again. Oh. I hear the dog they howl in the next room They don't love me like they love you Guess that goes for everyone in this town No surprise cause I ain't ever around I heard the rev holler out the service Preaching about being redeemed I know how I feel about all that Hard to believe after the man I mean. Mm -hmm. Here we go again. Oh, we just friends. Mm -hmm. What a week we came and played together. Yeah, he's too modest. Would you believe that was my idea? It would be cool, man, if I just left. Because people have told me my whole life, the best way to mute me is just to walk away. You just gotta get far enough away, and then you can't hear him. So, upon being an adult, I just removed myself. Because y'all are seated. This is adult. <laughs> All of them. They're all brand new. 
excellent rhythm. I just want to say that. Yeah. Yes. He's talking to the room, but yeah. I knew it was going to hit the wall and come back to you, but that's it. tells me the songs and it's like I, I haven't never heard them before. I get so much joy out of it. I'm like, oh, I like that one too. Yeah. Every time. Doing it for
for years. <laughs> when I was 14 years old. I was at a music festival. My parents thought, uh, took me to a music festival when I was 14 years old. I was like, yeah, this is cool. I didn't know how cool it was at the time, but they were very cool, cool parents. And then he was sleeping in a hammock. He <laughs> got a lot of change. <laughs>
Lord, I'll say it again. This is an incredible venue, and they do an incredible job of bringing talent through and making us feel at home. As artists, that means the world. We're not home a lot, so when we can feel like we're home, that's worth its weight in gold. So big shout out to Jim, big shout out to Kevin, everybody else running the rest of this place. Thank you so much. And most importantly, shout out to you. Without you, we don't have jobs, so thanks for being here. And knowing that jumping is coming next, get ready to hop up and down if you're feeling frisky. And if you're not, don't. If you think something's going to fall apart like my van, don't. Hang out. Do you. Let's have a good time.